Do we need men? No. Do we need men? Honestly, no. <laughs> Do we need men? No. Why? Because they suck. <laughs> I'd give anything to watch those women spend a single day as a plumber. Go be a plumber. Operate as a plumber for nine hours. See if you can last. See if you can cut it for a single day in a manual labor job that virtually only men do. And then you'll see exactly how necessary and essential men are to society. The real reason why good men are giving up on relationships is because women are teaching other women how men should think and feel. So when a man turns around and actually says what he thinks and feels, he's told he's wrong. But a man better not ever do this to a woman. Because if he did, at the very least, she would be offended and at the worst, he would be labeled a narcissist. If women actually listened to men, good men wouldn't be hard to find. Ladies, please date for your benefit. Date for your benefit. Your benefit is a better life, a better lifestyle, children who are taken care of, who have a stable father financially, even if it's not stable emotionally, but financially, your children go to private schools, they get the best of everything. Okay, because these men are dating for their benefit, and we all know their benefit is sex. Okay, there's studies that have shown most women reach the age of 35 without ever coming. Okay, most women have never orgasmed. Most women are faking it in bed. I think 80% of women fake it in the bedroom. There is no benefit for us in the bedroom, okay? Our benefit is becoming mothers, which is a lifelong fulfillment. But the actual sex itself, it just benefits men. And because they benefit from us, we too should benefit from them. Get what you can, go scam. Scam him if you must. Scam him if you must, girl. What kind of world do we live in where a normal, regular girl cannot find just a regular guy out here to date? They can. The problem is society has lied to us, telling us to never settle, telling us that we're the prize to be won, telling us that no matter who we date, we deserve better, that we shouldn't put up with this or that, when the reality is a lot of those things are just natural human things, that everybody makes mistakes and no one's perfect. We're expected to hold men to these ridiculous that they can never reach. We are taught to expect perfection from our relationships and we're not perfect ourselves. Instead of being realistic on what we personally can bring to a relationship and finding a man that is similar, we keep our expectations ridiculously high, which will make it impossible for us to find someone amazing. If you are truly willing to date a man that has flaws and imperfections, a man that does his best and treats you well, but doesn't necessarily give you the world, you're gonna find a man. Those men are abundant. Let's put guys in the friend zone. Because we don't like them, they're too nice. Actually, no. The men stopped dating because girls like you aren't loyal anymore, and they started to realize they were wasting their time trying to make relationships work with girls that ultimately didn't care about them. And now it's ruined everything, even for good girls like me. How do you expect for women to be submissive if you don't even court us? No dates, no I miss you calls, no... I'm just checking on you to make sure you made it home safe. Have you ate today? Are you okay? How's your mental? But you want us to be submissive? You haven't even bought me a cheeseburger. But you want me to be submissive? Let's see what the men got to say about this. Modern women often believe they hold significant importance in men's lives due to their feminist ideals, good looks, and substantial incomes. However, they still expect men to spend money on them, pay their bills, fulfill their desires, and respect them regardless of their actions, including cheating or dating others. This expectation has become a red flag for many men. Despite these beliefs, men have evolved and grown into self-sufficient individuals with their own paths. They have developed plans and strategies to improve their lives independently, aligning their progress with their own desires and goals. Men are now more comfortable within their own zones, where they focus on personal growth and success without relying on traditional relationship dynamics. This shift has led to a significant change in how men approach relationships. They are less inclined to conform to the expectations that modern women often hold. Men now prioritize their own well-being and ambitions, 
finding fulfillment in their personal achievements rather than seeking validation from romantic relationships. The result is a growing disconnect between modern women and men. While women continue to uphold their independence and feminist values, expecting traditional gestures from men, the latter are choosing to focus on their own lives. They are creating spaces where they can thrive independently, which often leads to a reluctance to engage in relationships that demand too much of their resources or compromise their personal progress. In essence, men are redefining their roles and priorities, finding comfort and success in their own journeys. All women are 304s. Nope. There is no such thing as traditional women anymore. Wrong. Women simply aren't worth it. What does that even mean? I am so tired of all of this negativity. Are you going to insist that masculinity is about growth, suffering, and overcoming difficult things? And then just not date because it's hard? Are some of you really so pessimistic and self-hating that you will just resign yourself to never feeling love and affection? Are you really going to sit here and insist that you have all of the answers to dating and then just refuse to pass those answers on to a woman who is ready and willing to please you? Tell me, what battle are you even fighting? You insist there's a problem, but you aren't trying to actually solve it? What is the point of all of this other than to just kick and scream? There are a lot of great women out there looking for men with your values. Go meet them, be strong in your convictions, and enjoy the life that you can create with them. Because the negativity has got to stop. Men find it increasingly difficult to trust modern women, fearing that their initial charm will fade and reveal unpleasant behaviors. This distrust stems from past experiences where women have shown deceit or manipulative tendencies, such as using crocodile tears to get their way. As a result, men are reluctant to allow women to interfere in their lives. This skepticism leads men to prioritize their own well-being and stability over the uncertainty of modern relationships. They fear that welcoming women into their lives might bring unnecessary drama and complications. Instead, men choose to focus on their personal goals and ambitions, creating a secure environment where they can thrive without the risk of emotional manipulation. The reluctance to engage in relationships with modern women is driven by a desire for self-preservation. Men are wary of getting involved with women who may bring more stress than support, preferring to maintain control over their lives. This protective stance is not just about avoiding heartbreak, but also about ensuring their personal growth and happiness. In conclusion, the lack of trust in modern women and the fear of emotional manipulation are the main reasons men are hesitant to let women interfere in their lives. They choose to prioritize their own stability and progress, steering clear of relationships that might jeopardize their well-being. Surprise. The number of young single men in America is at a record high. This is why. According to Pew Research data that was released this week, a staggering 63% of men in their 20s are single, which is almost double that of women. Lonely men out there? Let's break down these numbers. Scholars say that women don't want to marry down, whereas in the past, men played a more significant dominant role in relationships. Women are now taking home 60% of all bachelor's degrees. And even though men still earn more more money than women, that wage gap is slowly closing. It's now sitting at $43 a week. And that empowerment of young women is removing young men from the relationship equation. So then who are these young women dating? Some are dating and marrying slightly older men, which has been a thing for centuries. And others are more openly dating each other. There's more to it than just changing social dynamics. Women are also tired of dating emotionally unavailable and distant men, which is a larger issue in male relationships in general. Research shows that more men than women are friendless and lonely and only half of single men are even looking for a committed relationship or even going on casual dates they just want friends <laughs> and the social disconnect actually has really tragic consequences like the young male unalive rate is four times that of women. And all this research compounds with a 2021 Gallup poll, which found that American men are experiencing a friendship recession with nearly one in six American men reporting not having a single close friend. Female empowerment is one thing, but if relationships and friendships are both falling for men, where does that leave us in the future? That's all for today on Alpha Male. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notifications. You can support the channel by becoming a member or sending a super chat. Share your thoughts in the comments. See you tomorrow.